Hey guys, how are you all this week? Just wanted to give a special shout out to Cora. I hear you're uh, being a good girl and I hope you're having a good time. I miss you, kiddo. Um, this week I'd like to talk to you guys about love. See, we all say I love you. We all tell each other we love each other. We all tell people we love them. But what does love really mean? What if I told you your parents told you about 50 times a day they love you? What if I told you that they tell you I love you by saying, don't forget to put your coat on, it's cold outside. What if they said it by telling you to call you call them when you got to where you were supposed to be going? What if I said that your parents tell you they love you when you're, you're going out with your friends and they just literally say, I love you. You see, the world is filled with love. Love for our friends, love for our neighbors, love for our parents, and love for our other family members. But what if I told you nobody loved us more than Jesus? What if I told you that God, you know, John 3.16, most popular verse known to mankind, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus died on the cross for us out of love. He loved us so much, he gave his life so that we would be forgiven of our sins. You know, we all sin. We all have sins. We all make mistakes. But Jesus loved us so much, like I said, he gave his life for us. You know, we all say we love God, but do you really love God? You know, all, you know Jesus gave his life for us. And all he asks us, in return, asks us in return is that we live for him. How can we live for him? Well, we can live for him by doing the little things, the big things, and many other things. You know, helping our neighbors, that's a way of living for God. Um, you know, going out of our way to tell the elderly folk down the street that they're important and they're special to us. Maybe helping our mom and dad by cleaning up the kitchen or putting our toys away. Or we could just tell the people we love, we love them by simply saying, I love you. But remember, actions speak louder than words. So we can say we love somebody all we want, but if we don't truly show them we love them, they may not understand. <clears throat> this week, I want you to talk to your parents about someone you love. Not them. They know you love them. Talk to them about somebody else you love. Maybe a friend, a teacher, um, or someone that you, you may not even realize that you do love. This week I'm starting off on a series of things. Um, a series of the, the virtues of God. I believe I, it's Galatians 5.22 where we, we learn about this. So this week is about love, and I'd like you to talk to your parents again, like I said, about someone you love. And show them how you love them. You know, clean up your room, clean up the kitchen, write them a letter. Because it means a lot to other people to hear from the people that, that love them. Some of us don't have anybody that... Some of us don't have anybody to make us feel like we're loved. And in these times of, of COVID and disease, there's a lot more people out there that are missing out on that, that opportunity and that, sh that feeling to be shared with them. I hope you all are having a great week. I love each and every one of you. I'm sorry this video is late this week, guys. But I hope you all have a great night. Sleep well tonight. I love you all. God bless.